expectations then? No, you know, I, I, like I said, I, like, these first uh, few days, you know, even the first week or so, you know, you just want to see guys come out, come out and make sure that they're healthy and they're getting their work in and um, start competing. Um, I think that these guys, you know, they understand what our roster's like. Uh, of course, you know, the fifth starter spot, you know, is open. Maybe a couple of bullpen spots are open, but um, we just, you know, for me, it's, it's about talking to them and saying, hey, you just, just be yourself. Just go out there and, and um, do your thing. You know, there's, there's people above you that make those kind of decisions. Just go out there and compete. How do you see the fifth starters coming into spring and everything? You know, it's, um, you know, it's, it's tough to say. Obviously, you know, you, you know, if AJ goes out and does what he's capable of doing, he, he threw a bullpen today and he was phenomenal. I mean, he really was. Uh, and that, that was that was fun to see and very exciting, you know, uh, Fifth start with that kind of kind of arm and the way he pitched last year, finished up the season. Um, you know he's got the upper hand, but you know, like I said, spring training is long. Uh, we'll just have to see. You know, my biggest concern that he he comes out of here and he's healthy and ready to go. Hey, as someone who's sort of doing this for the first time in this role, are you so with some of this trial and error? Are you sharing it? Are you trying different things? Are you what are you sort of assessing? Like, is it, I know this is going to work. Is it about me? Or? Well, you know this. I have to form my own routine. Um, I know for years, you know, as a bench coach, I I, I, I formed my own routine, had a thing going. It, it's hard. Like today, I kind of, I wanted to watch all the pitches, but yet I wanted to watch other things, and I wanted to just leave. And I said, uh, you know, I got to, I want to make sure I, I see everybody throw that I need to see. Um, so that's that's kind of tough, you know. Um, I love the game. I'm passionate about the game. I love every aspect of the game. So you know, I like to see the catches work. You know, I like I like to see different things. So that's one of the things that I, I really have to adjust on uh, knowing where I need to be and when I need to be there. What has surprised you most about the job so far since you got here in camp? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I re really, I mean, uh, I wake up in the, you know, the biggest thing is, like I said, I, I have all this energy when I wake up and um, my brain just constantly go, you know, you, you're thinking about, you know, Max Serger and Strasburg and Geo and Rourke and and uh, Harper and uh, you know uh, Rendon, you know those guys in your lineup. You go, wow, you know. I mean, I, I just get excited to come to the ballpark and, and and just watch these guys perform every day. So when you wake up and you can't turn your brain off, are you like are you making lineups like at bedside? Like what are you doing? Um, you, you know what? I try I try not to think about lineups too much. I mean, but I, I think about the players and um, what I could do. Uh, in that particular day to to help one of them. I mean, that's what it's about to try to get these guys ready and and uh, help them be the best they could be. It's obviously different, you know, when you got the job too as well. My lineup's going to be really stellar. But then getting here and seeing Scherzer and Strasburg and Tanner and Gio, those are obviously four amazing pitchers. How is that coming from today, for example? What type of way does walking into the lineup and getting that? Oh gosh, it's like yeah, it's funny because I you could like I can tell that they compete, you know, every day and um they all of them they all want to be the best. And, and and that's for me that's awesome, you know. Uh perfect example yesterday, you know, I'm watching Scherzer go out there for the first time and, and he's facing hitters. You know, I'm like <laughs> I said that's you know, that's that's pretty awesome, you know. So and and I see Strasburg t today and, and uh working on you know work just work constantly work you know already working on uh, on locating his breaking ball you know so these guys are, are true professionals and and they get it you know and uh, like I said I'm just excited to watch him go out there on a daily basis you know you only see him when you come into town you know once or uh, but to see him on a daily basis knowing that they're on your side is pretty cool I love music <laughs> And it it, it helps you know it wakes me up, and uh, it's for me it soothes the the beast within, and uh, I've gotten a lot of feedback already from from them and they love it you know it wakes them up in the morning gets them going it gets fired up um, so you know they get they get you know each guy gets to pick get their playlist uh, and um, so they're having fun with it already. So who chooses who goes when? So I, you know yesterday you know I chose uh, Scherzer you know being his three three time Cy Young winner and. Uh, you know, so I said, hey, why don't you lead it off today and today, yeah, yesterday and today with Strasburg, and he picked it. Now tomorrow I'll go with two. Uh, I'll go with a reliever for the next two days, and then we'll move on from there. Your, your first couple workouts were also fairly short. I mean, by some understanding, 
that by design and what yes. the thought process. Absolutely. It's uh it's um quality, not quantity. Uh but these guys, you know, what people don't see is that they're in the they're in the uh they're in the gym at, you know, seven thirty in the morning. I mean they're they're working, you know, a lot of these guys condition early. Uh, they're coming in and getting their treatments, tra- you know, with the trainers. They're doing all kinds of stuff before they even get on the field. So uh, we just want to get the get their work in, uh, good quality work, quick, and get get them out and let them enjoy their day. Kind of feedback you earlier about from Dana Murphy and maybe something about this staff and seeing how the season kind of mapped out as far as like the changes you need to separate or how you guys want to use them in the camp or use them in the game. Yeah, I talk I talked to both. Um, Adams, you know, doing doing great. He wants to. F- play like right now and uh you know i i've told him i I told him all all winter that it's about getting you ready for march 29th um so he's doing really well uh daniel's doing awesome i mean uh, his progression running is doing great so um i think they're both right on target uh, with murphy's opening day still in the target but as of right now yeah opening days you know that's what we're striving for and um like I said, his progressions are, are, are his running progressions are, are, are really good. He's excited about it. We're excited about it, and uh, we just can't wait to get him back out and playing. In, in the last two, three, four days, has anybody called you from the past? Has anything happened that kind of brought into focus you know, what's going on? Um, I've heard you know before I got to camp, you know people were sending me text messages and good luck. You know you're going to do great things and uh, wish you all the best and all that stuff. And I, you know I appreciate that thing. You know. For me, it's all about, like I said, it's a new beginning for me. Um, it's all about having conversation with, with the players, getting to know them on a personal level, not just on a baseball level. But, you know, I like to know what, what makes them tick. And uh, like their everyday, everyday life. You know, I, you know, my first meeting with them, I tell them, hey, my door is open. You know, I might not be in the office because I don't like sitting in there. Um, I said, but if I'm out and about, just come find me. I love conversations about anything, you know. And, and and they get it, you know. They they've come up to me already, and we just talked about whatever, you know. So it's 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 been a, a lot of fun the first first two days. You hear a lot of talk about the team's windows to win championships and stuff like that. How, how do you how do you view this team within that respect? <laughs> um, I don't know what a window is per se. All I know is that we're going to compete, you know, every day at the highest level. Uh, these guys are good. Yeah, they've been good. For the last couple of years, um, all went along. I heard about this this hump that they need to get over. I, th- I think we need to get to the hump first, and I think you know our, my message is clear: uh, to stay in the here and the now, and worry about today. And uh, if we do that, we're gonna be, we're gonna be in good shape. So, so following that up, you played with the team that had the ultimate hump, and that's how you've got a 108 year hump. And, and Watson has, has gotten a little grumpy. In You know, for me, it's just about uh, consistency. You know, preach, preaching the same message, uh, going out there, positive energy, um, and letting these guys go out there and compete. You know, uh, we're, I'm all about the positive. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't sort out negatives. I mean, everybody has bad days. We get it. You know, um, but we tr- the, the only way we're going to make this team gel and play together is to make sure that. Whoever's on the 25-man roster start off, that th- those guys are ready to compete every day. They're all going to they're all going to play. They know that already. Um, I explain that to everybody. We got so many good guys on this team that, you know, everybody's going to get a chance to participate. So um, and do and and I expect them all to do well. So, you know, they they get it and they they know. I mean, our young players, um, for the first time, you know, they got to the playoffs last year, so they got some experience now and they know what it's all about and they're hungry to to get back there. So I think uh, we're going to have a really, really, really good year. Like I said, it's all about the here and now. That's what I worry about. And making sure that they're healthy and ready for uh, March 29th. Did you get a chance to see Sean Kelly throw yesterday and just by himself? And where did you fall on his plan? Hey, he, he looked really good, and he's healthy, and he's, he's happy, and um, he's an awesome guy. I mean, the, you know, his teammates love him. He's a leader. Uh, my job is to keep them healthy uh, the best way possible, and um, we're going to try to do that and maximize, you know, maximize uh, when we can use them, when when not to use them. Um, who knows? You know, 
you know, only time will tell, but he might be a guy right now that he pitches, you know, one game and, and he's off one game just to make sure that he's healthy you know, moving forward. So we'll see. But he's excited. Like I said, he's he feels great. And that's a that's a positive. You know, Miggy, I've had Miggy, and um, for me, Miggy's a veteran catcher, um, understands the game, calls a very good game, uh, frames really well, gets pitches behind the plate. Um, I, th I think he can help us. I really, I really do. Uh, I know uh, he's, he knows Max. He's plays with Max. He, you know, he's a veteran guy. He's very. Uh, he likes to communicate, uh, and in a positive way. You know, so. Uh, Mickey, I think Mickey has a great chance to help us. Uh, so, you know, I'm looking forward to letting him go, you know, have him go out there and, and, and play in the spring and, and doing what he he does best. And that's, like I said, call games. And uh, he's a great, you know, if you don't know Mickey, Mickey loves big moments. Um, he's, cut, he's He's had some big hits for us in the past, some big hits for Arizona in the past. So, uh, you know, I'm looking for Mickey to be Mickey. Looking back over your whole baseball career, it's kind of. It's a long one. <laughs> what, what struck me is how whenever somebody tells you you can't do something, you don't seem to get the hint. You were just starting your starting around in high school, then you came to college, you were traded five times, right. free agent five times, turned down for managing jobs, and yet you end up with 16 really hits, you're the manager. What, what goes in the game that tells you it doesn't get the hint that you're yeah, trying to tell you no? It's, it's funny that you say that because, like, so when I had a meeting with our coaches, my big thing was them is that there, there's no negativity. You know, I don't, I don't care what a guy can't do. Tell me what a guy can do, and let's make him the best at that. And if we could do that, all the, all the, all the things he can't do seems to go away. And, uh, and that's how, you know, I, I perceive the way I've done. You know, don't tell me, you know, I know I'm little. You know, I was little my whole life. Um, that doesn't mean I can't do this or do that, you know. So I just go out there and, and forget about what people talk, tell me I can't do. And it's just concentrating on the things I can do. Have you been in contact at all with any of the last couple of days? No, but I, I am good. I will uh, reach out to him. I know uh, it's been a, um, a devastating uh, moment, you know, and uh, my condolences to the families and friends. Uh, I mean, that's tragic. You know, some things like that shouldn't happen. Um, but my heart goes out to all those people. Are there things that you bring from the things that you've learned in the game that you and Joe have done together, statistical things, styles of running the game, and anything that comes to mind when you say, you know, I just think we have, not necessarily that versus Dusty, but just anybody that comes to the table with you, things that you might do that we haven't seen as much? You know, we're, you know, we're, we're definitely going to play with a lot of energy. Um, you know, Mike's Mike d done a great job on putting together – uh, a well-rounded uh, roster. I mean, got starting pitching. Uh, he went out last year and, and, and did a wonderful job building a bullpen. Uh, we have speed. We have power. Uh, we got bench players, which I don't consider them bench players. Um, but we got guys that could, that, that could play at any given time, you know, Matt Adams, Howie, uh, Goody, uh, Defoe. I mean, the list goes, you know, goes on. So, um, with that being said, I, you know, the, you'll, you'll see some different things, you know, and, and uh, you know, Matt Adams playing first base on, on occasion, playing left field on occasion. I mean, the biggest thing for us moving forward is, is for me is is rest. You know, make sure guys are, are rested and healthy and uh, and good to go uh, on a daily basis. And, and with, like I said, with what Mike did, uh, we can afford to do that every now and then. Right, right. So, um, like I said, we're looking just – I know these guys are hungry, and uh, that's a great thing. I mean, that, that, I mean that, that's a start, you know. They want to get back uh, to the playoffs. My job is to keep them, keep them here today, you know, not, ju not jump the gun. Let's just worry about today and uh, get you guys ready for the, for the season. When you talk about rest, do you expect to be more aggressive than maybe some managers are in terms of getting guys to Well, yeah. I mean, uh, but it, it'll be through communication with with uh, 
the veteran players and players. You know, they'll they'll all know when they get in a day off. Um, guys will know the day before when they they get get going to get a chance to play. So it'll be it, it'll be very very much in communication with all of them. Um, look, I get it. You know, everybody wants to play. I did everything in my career from starting to being a role player to, and uh, but nobody ever told me that I was a role player. You know, in my mind, I, I played every day. You know, so I prepare myself to play every day, and uh, these guys all want to play every day, which is good. You know, but they they understand, and uh, they understand they're going to get a chance to play. Uh, like I tell the bench players, it's not easy coming off the bench and do what you do. You get put in big moments, and uh, I appreciate that. And, and you guys are really good at it, and you help us win a lot of games. I said, but you will get your at-bats. You know, I'm not going to just, after 10 days, you know, decide, hey, base is loaded. We need you, we need you to hit a, you know, get a base hit to win a game. No, that, that's not going to happen here. Is it useful at all, like a motivating factor maybe, to be sharing the complex with the defending world champion in the sense of that, or is it separated? Um, yeah, you know, I, I, honestly, I don't even know they're there. <laughs> I mean, it's, this complex is unbelievable. I mean, we do all our work, you know, down in the bottom there, and uh, we'll just play. Our, you know, we're going to play our games there. That's that's about it. And um, you know, our, my vision is that we have the same sign on our side next year, world champs.